you know, I said I was going to make this tomorrow, but now it's today, and now we got 15 minutes until the Champions Classic, so I'm going to do this right now. So, college football playoff, top 25, week 14, December 1st. It's a beautiful day for the top seven staying the same. Top seven stays the exact same. Alabama 1, Notre Dame 2, Clemson 3, Ohio State 4, A&M 5, Florida 6, Cincinnati at number 7. Now, Georgia moves on up to number 8, and Iowa State moves on up to number 9 in the country after beating my Texas Longhorns, of course. So they, the committee has finally acknowledged the head-to-head win for Iowa State against Oklahoma. And Oklahoma's at number 11. Miami's right there at number 10. Now the ACC has changed some things around to where, you know, Notre Dame, Clemson, Miami will play nine conference games now instead of 10. And if Clemson loses... So happens to lose against Virginia Tech. And Miami wins out. Miami will face Notre Dame in the ACC Championship. If not, and Clemson beats Virginia Tech, it'll be Clemson-Notre Dame once again. Number 12, no no Michael Penix. It doesn't matter now for Indiana. They're number 12, and BYU is stuck at number 13. They're not going to move up anytime soon. Again, BYU needs to schedule somebody. They need to schedule somebody very, very soon, <laughs> like like right now, because you're not moving on up. You're not moving up the way you want. Northwestern is at 14. Oklahoma State, 15. Wisconsin stays at number 16, and I don't know why North Carolina is at 17. They should be out of the rankings completely. I don't know why they're not in the rankings, but here we are. So we are robbed of, an, of a top 25 Coastal Carolina Liberty matchup. Instead, it'll be Coastal Carolina versus unranked Liberty. Very unfortunate. Iowa is at number 19, and it looks like the Pac-12 the committee said, no, you guys are not making the playoff because USC is at 20, Washington's at 22, undefeated Washington, by the way. Oregon, 23, and Marshall stayed put at 21, Tulsa, 24th, and Louisiana finally gets into the top 25 like they should have been at 25. So, yeah, honestly, the biggest things here are Georgia being ranked number eight when they don't have any wins at all. You know, they got blown out by the only two teams they played. Blown out by Florida. Blown out by Alabama. That's it for Georgia. Nothing else stands out. They're still in the top 10. I think it's just because of their brand, the way that they are. They're in the top 10. Glad that Iowa State finally has that recognition that they deserve, you know. But they did get beat by the number 25 team in the country, though. That should be something. That should weigh something in the in the committee's minds, but that apparently it doesn't matter, you know, because, you know, any given Saturday does not matter in the committee's minds, you know, with Iowa State and Oklahoma, and then Oklahoma State right there at 15, so there could be some gains made by the Big 12, maybe, it depends, BYU being stuck at number 13, uh, they have had the opportunity to schedule somebody. They have not done so. They need to. There's still a little time. You know, there could be some cancellations and stuff like that to where a non-conference game against the Pac-12 can open up. But it's looking pretty unlikely. And it looks like BYU will only play 10 games until their bowl game. Not a good look right there. Not a good look. The Cougars want to move on up. And we all know they're a top 10 team. Georgia should not be right there, but whatever. Uh, the fact that Northwestern moved down only about six spots, you know, and North Carolina still in the rankings is just asinine at this point. Don't know why North Carolina's there. 
I've already said that like at least once already. I'll say it again. Don't know why they're there. They are there for no reason whatsoever. And they moved up. This does not make any sort of sense. Why would you move a team that has three losses on up? Get them out of there. Put it in Colorado. Where is Colorado? Where is the, where are the Buffaloes at? Where is the Liberty? Why are they not why are they not in the top twenty five? Come on. This doesn't make any sense. And the rest of the poll, you know, looks fine as is. But yeah. Top twenty five. It's out. I'm kind of disappointed. Um in the fact that North Carolina is ranked still. Don't know why they're still ranked. I'm going to keep saying, you know, why, why, why all week. And they play an FCS opponent this week too. So, why, why? Come on, tell me why. Tell me why, committee. Tell me why. And this better be rectified next week. North Carolina better not be anywhere near the top 25 next week.